We also came up, but I forgot to video it. This is Hawk Hill. I think a zip line would be appropriate. It's a long way from here down to the bottom, way down there. Since I'm on my 10th map right now, this is the last time I quote unquote have to hike any of these trails. I'm sure I'll hike them many more times, unless I break my neck, but it's good to get them done the 10th time in the summer. I will be back in the winter. I like to hike this winter. Okay, which way did we come? Which way did we go? Which way did we come again? And from that, you can figure out which way we're going to go. Which way did we come? We came up that way. Yep. And we went that way. Yep. Now we came down this way. So which way do we go next? Right here. No, we go this way. <laughs> okay, so I set you up for failure. It's not my fault. It is your fault. Oh. Can we check it out? Sure. We're going to see if there's a bear living in there this year. I'll tell you, my flashlight's not doing much now. So here's the cave. The flashlight's not adding much light. I'm not sure how it's going to show up. Off to the right, there's a little nook over here. This is the infamous cave on Branch Path. They're coming up from Old Orn 28, which is what the trail hikes, right next to Route 93. It's on your right. One at a time. We're walking along uh, the edge of Route 128 at the Great Cedar Swamp. We just came over the bridge. And pretty soon we're going to come to the area that's probably going to be flooded. High expectations of it being flooded. Hopefully there's a hole in the chain link fence that we can get through and go around. Yeah, I'm assuming we gotta go around. I don't know. Looks like you can almost get through. chain link fence to get back. What it really needs is a hundred feet or so of boardwalk would be one answer. 
The second answer would be to move the chain link fence a little bit up the hill past the trees and move the trail a few feet up the hill past the swamp on the inside of the chain. But they seem to like the idea where they keep patching the chain and somebody keeps cutting it and we keep walking around. The logic escapes me, but whatever. I'm looking for a tree to sit on. Oh, here's one. I think better when I'm sitting down. Oh, I was to try to balance myself so I can put my whole concentration into the mat. Well, we're effectively halfway through my map. Because I figure I finish at 42, and that's not back at the car. So that would be like 46 back at the car. Yeah. And we're at 23. 23. So you got to walk faster. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sorry we're slowing you down. <laughs> oh. That, you know, Aren't we going back there? No, I, I don't think we should. Oh, oh I see. I think okay. if we do, we won't get home. Okay, I get it. Can't make a cross Lee path. Up to Braintree Pass path. Well, we got a long out and back to the left. Pick up a trail that otherwise will become an orphan. We're doing everything backwards today. We're at the beginning of the trail up Hawk Hill, but we already climbed Hawk Hill this morning. Before we were doing the beginning of Braintree Pass path and we had already done the middle part of it this morning. So we turned here. Where do we turn? Oh, we're over there. Make sure we connect our steps. Continuous footprints. At 3.30 in the afternoon, overlook We're almost done. This was just an out and back up to the top of the hill or the middle of the hill. 335. We get back to the cars in 10 or 15 minutes. Get home. Plenty of time for supper.